So I am looking at the quartz or outside liner of the Lion 2 reactor. And there is a crack running down the length of it. And I'm just going to go up and down this crack and you can see it's a long fissure. It goes all the way along, all the way along, all the way along, all the way along. Really a long fissure. Anyway, I'm going to go back because this fissure has something really rather interesting going on. Get it back in focus. Okay. Um, because this isn't any ordinary fissure. When we zoom into it, we see it packed of spheres. Oh, wonderful little spheres. There we go. This isn't just a crack in the glass. This has been smashed apart. Absolutely fascinating. Now there's lots of lovely things to look at on this glass. Look at that sphere there. Look at that. <laughs> it's almost like fracking. And it's just holding the crack open. Absolutely fascinating. Whole bunch of spheres sitting in that crack. How interesting. How interesting. Oh dear, look at that. Can you see what it is yet? That's a crack in the quartz. What are the spheres doing in the crack in the quartz? <laughs> We've got a red sphere. Like a little jewel in there. Could that be one of our cupric oxide spheres? Why is it different? Oh, there's the light going off. <laughs> uh, and there's an iron rich sphere, probably. Absolutely fascinating. Of course, the quartz is actually held together. There's a sort of slightly silvery one. I guess that's a different element. It's totally, totally fascinating. Look. Look at this. What is going on? How did these spheres get into this crack? Ooh. Sorry about the light there. Absolutely fascinating. Du, 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 du. Might be going out of the focal plane here. And that's the other end of this part of the reactor.
it's almost like it removed this section because if you follow the line on that curve there it's it's like it's cut it out it's like it's cut drilled the entire length of the reactor this section out and just happens to have left some spheres in there look at look at the way those lines in that cutout has it done that i don't know but it is full down the entire length let's run down that again we lost it now where's our sphere there's our crack all the way down this crack all the way down this crack. All the way down from one end of this tube all the way to the other end. And the crack is filled like a fracking joint. There we go. That's the other end of our tube. And zoom in. Oh, there we go. Ooh, uh, It's just cut a line through this reactor. Now, the other thing I want to draw your attention to <clears throat> is these kind of strange radiation tracks which are all over the surface of the glass. Little squiggly wormy tracks. Maybe we can get into focus that a little better for you. These look like spirals. They're not just a track. They have a, some spiraling nature to them. So let's go and find a few more of them, shall we? There's one there. Can we get a focus on that? Squiggly, squiggly. They're like tapeworms. There's quite a few of these. So it's going for, oh, that's an interesting one. Let's have a look at that. There's a smaller one nearby. Can we focus in on that? There's a smaller one. It's cut its way through. This one here, absolutely fascinating. Look at that. It's kind of like a flat tapeworm spiraling and then suddenly changing direction. Look at that. Let's go and find another one. Yeah, what is this? What is this? Let's have a look at that. Hmm. Now this is odd. It's like a tapeworm. And it's in the quartz, but it's black. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> Let's have a look for the wormies. There's a nice little curved one there. Let's have a look at him. It's just a simple little one. And there's a straight one there. It's straight, but it's still twisted internally. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Ooh, oh, we've got some action here. Look at that. Various tracks at this point here. Now, are any of those tracks associating with features on the crack? Not really. 
Ooh, there's a nice one. Let's go and have a look at that one. There we go. Come to papa. Wow, look at that. That one's spiralicious. So, it's a little sensitive. It would be nice to have some kind of thing to move. There we go. But you can see this is... Look at that. Look at that. That's lovely. Spirally, spirally, spirally. Yeah, we like that. What is that? What is that, I wonder? What is it? And we have another one there. And, ooh, there's a nice little roundy one. Let's have a look at that one. It's got some branching going on. Yeah, we like that one. It's like a tubule. And it's kinky. It's got a few kinks in it. Changing direction. And let's see what else we have. Anything over here. Anything over here. La -di -da -di -da. Um, then what's that? What is that there? Let's have a look at that. Hmm. Now that looks a bit like a classic Evo strike. Evo. Look at what we have there. Needless to say, I'm very happy with this Nurago microscope. I mean, it's a little fiddly. Let's see if I can move this with my hands rather than the camera. Can you see that? Lovely. Very nice indeed. We have these squiggly tracks here. And there. Mm-hmm. All right, let's come back out again. There's our crack filled again. Now, what is this one over here? Can you see what that is? Mm -hmm. It's just very white. There's a couple of other little tracks there. <clears throat> Ooh, what do we got going on here? This is interesting. Very interesting. There we go. Ooh, it's like little ferns. Get a bit closer to that. What is going on there? It even jumps across the gap. What is going on there? It's like someone's got some millipedes and put them in. Look at that. What is going on there? Less interesting over here, but this is fascinating. Look at that. Look at that. Really, what is going on there? Mm -hmm. Got a little squiggle here. Let's have a look at him. 
Yep. Yeah. Move the actual sample. It's like a bit of branching just at the end there. 